Last time on Game Grumps. Yes. Bloodstained poster and carpet were moved along with the. Oh my God! Are, are the makers of this game getting paid by the word? <laughs> Is he right? Could Chihiro really have gotten into the boys' locker room somehow? Even though there was a method of getting into either locker room that was explained to us at the beginning of this mission. Okay. Examine her carefully, like using our hands. Dude, yes, no, it's a murder. Bold. This, this girl is. Is what? Is a boy. Oh. oh. The killer was able to gain access to the real murder scene, which means the killer is a the killer is a guy. guy. Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the game Grumps. Okay, this is super definitely, without question, it for this trial. <laughs> this is the episode that it's all happening. Yeah. So in case anybody didn't know what was happening, uh, Ch Chihiro murdered and, uh, temperatures, high temperatures. Yeah, temperatures will break the e-handbook. <laughs> yes, the e-handbook is, uh, is broken, Chihiro's e-handbook is broken, and high temperatures will break it. So and Hifumi here. apparently flippin' knew it. You knew it? Yeah, cause I found the handbook laying on the floor of the sauna. And oh. who likes saunas? Mondo. Sa <laughs> the temperature in the sauna can reach over 200 degrees. Strange how you don't get burnt, huh? It's because as your sweat evaporates, it creates a cooling oh. layer of air around your skin. I learned something today. Yeah. If the hot air of the sauna were somehow pushed directly onto your skin, you'd definitely get fried. That layer of air would get blown away. That's why you may feel a burning when you move around. So when you're in a sauna, okay. make sure to keep nice and still. A thing. I guess so. I learned one new fact today. <laughs> yeah, me too. Oh, Taka. One, one single new fact? Is that the one thing you learned today? <laughs> a mere trifling speck of knowledge. Anyway, if you found the victim's handbook in the sauna, then the killer must have been purposely trying to raise its temperature in order to break it. Meaning the culprit somehow knew its weakness. But how'd they find out? Monokuma said he didn't tell anyone, right? Indeed. Quite the mystery. What if they found out by accident? Um... What do you mean, by accident? Yeah... What if the killer took their own handbook into the sauna, not knowing its weakness, and it broke? They'd realize it was broken, of course, and it wouldn't be hard to figure out why. Oh. And once they had Chihiro's handbook, they knew they had an easy way to... So check it. everyone's handbooks and see who's got a broken one. Oh. I would say it's not possible, but who would have done something like that? I don't know, man. Don't Mondo? Know anyone who took their handbook into the sauna. <laughs> I might know someone who did. Whoa. Seriously? Yeah, me. Um, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Oh crap, are we gonna have to decide? Yeah, it was, it was Taka and Mondo. Oh, that's right! Uh... Holy crap! But it was Mondo. Mondo wore all his clothes. Taka had his shirt off. Here's my answer! Holy Here's schnibs! You. Mondo, your handbook got broken in the sauna, didn't it? What? Why? Why do you keep accusing him? He's my, my favorite bro. man in the world! Endurance contest in the sauna not too long ago, remember? And for the contest, Mondo just so happened to keep his school uniform on. Mm -hmm. I love that he has the towel over his hair. also left his handbook in one of his uniform pockets. So how big is the handbook? Like, have they ever shown it actually in someone's hands? It must be like wallet sized. Yeah. And when it was all over, Mondo discovered that taking your handbook into the sauna could easily destroy it. Uh, no, wait, hold on. You've got it all wrong. He would never kill. I don't accept this. Show me the proof. The actual solid proof. I mean, yeah, he's kind of yeah, right. I mean, yeah. I mean, I don't want to believe it either, but... But I found something that proves it beyond a shadow of doubt. Here's a picture of Mondo killing Chihiro. <laughs> Sorry, I should have mentioned it earlier. 
<laughs> you whiz. Uh, alright. I guess I'll... Shit, how do I switch the... If what he says Shit. is correct, then Mondo, you broke your own handbook. Shoot him huh. down. Oh. If Mondo's handbook is actually broken, right. then that proves that what Makoto said is right. Well, my goddamn handbook works just fine. Uh, no, it doesn't. Fuck. Damn it. Oh. <laughs> Mondo wouldn't hurt a fly. Let's test if what he said you broke yep. your own. In other words, uh -huh. it proves. Well, my goddamn handbook works just fine. <laughs> No, it's wrong because it's broken. Fucking cucumber. <laughs> yeah. No, because that shit ain't true. <laughs> the handbook you have right now. Is it really yours? Uh oh. What is that supposed to mean? The broken handbook that was in the main hall. Isn't that one actually yours? Oh, he has what Leon's. About? What I mean is. I Dang, man. That makes total that sense. That actually works. I think he took Leon's handbook and replaced it with his own. Oh, uh -huh. this game actually does tie its own. It does tie everything up. It's mm -hmm. you, it, so, some stuff is weird and out of left field, but it doesn't it doesn't leave threads hanging. Yeah. That's right. The punishment it suffered wasn't nearly enough to destroy it. So then, the broken handbook in the main hall is actually Mondo's. It's Mondo's. But the handbook Mondo has right now is actually Leon's. Celeste, have you- were you- where were you for the last 60 seconds? Yeah. Wait a second! Doesn't that violate the school regulation that says loaning out your handbook is prohibited? Well- No, he didn't loan it, it was borrowed. There's a rule about loaning your handbook to another student. But if they're dead, they're not a student. That's the most contrived version of that argument. Mm -hmm. You could just say well, it's not loaned. Kind of a yeah, exactly. Argument. But no worries. If anything, it just makes things more interesting. Okay. Dead As man such, loan I no books. <laughs> yeah, like books fucking jeez. It's not a violation of the rules. Well, Mondo, if I'm wrong about this, you're welcome to say so. Well, you're wrong. <laughs> I'm happy to admit I made a mistake, but... Son of a bitch. What's wrong, bro? C come on, tell him he's wrong. You are For wrong. me! You have to be wrong. Everything you just said is wrong. You made it all up. Okay, then why don't we look back on this case one more time from the beginning? Oh my god. Are you sure you want to do that? <laughs> Everything will become clear, and we'll all see if I was right or wrong. And if anybody has anything to interject about me wanting to clear something up or anything, yeah. go ahead. In fact, you know what? Let's reassess the entire Leon case while we're at it. <laughs> Alright, Chihiro stuffs the bag, uh, Celeste comes over and it's like, hey, it's, huh? It's, uh, what? And then... Uh, oh, there's a lot. Yeah. yeah. There's the duffel bag. Blue duffel bag. Oh, geez, all right, bye. Uh, at okay, two. Then pro uh, that would probably be the picture of the locker room. Okay, yeah. Um, okay, so what comes after that? Oh, meeting somebody. Yes, so uses the handbook to get in, or? Well, no, no you'd, you'd want to show the correct locker first. The, uh, one of the circles to the left. Oh, oh, yeah. got it. Okay. Boys. Babies with the boys. The yep. In. And then the in. Okay. Alright. And then hey, it's going. And then the it's hey, going. Stop. And then, and lifting weights. So it's lifting weights. Yep. And then huh, 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 whoop. And, and then, then splash. Uh, yeah, it's a weird. What's the what, what's the order here? Okay, okay. So this is like blood going everywhere. So it goes on the poster. Right. All right. So and then drops to the ground. <laughs> Killed her. And she's dead. And act three. And just roll up the carpet. And, mm -hmm. and, and then uh, thing fell. Oh. Where does that come in? Yeah. I don't think that's maybe maybe the thing fell when he was lifting Chihiro. 
Oh. Chihiro. Oh, because he. Okay, let's see what our like... other options are. Yeah, open the door, getting on the floor. Oh, he's taking yeah, it would the be, poster yeah, down. Yeah, poster. Yeah. Alright, and then. Duh, 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 and then. Okay. Uh, picks up Chihiro, and then this uses the thing, and then the thing. So. Uh. So, in order to get into the girls' locker room. Yeah, how? Yeah, how yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it would be the handbook falling out. What, really? I think? Well, it shows... No, I'm a little confused, actually. Yeah. Did they ever establish how Mondo got into the girls' room? Mm -mm. I, don't, I don't think so. Hmm, that is a weird... Situation. This is really strange. Uh, okay, so... My, okay, open the door. And then... The blood's... Not then. Blood's not then yet. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Put down... Chihiro. No, uh, open the door. It's the door opening, I believe. Really? Yeah, because they're... Click the in, and then you open the door. And now he's in the other room. Well, what about putting up the... That would be post? after he put the body oh, down. Oh, okay, got it. Oh no, but... He put the body down... Because this is the boys and this is the girls. So I think it's swapping the poster, actually. Right? Maybe? Oh no, he would be carrying Chihiro Yeah, he'd be in. carrying them the entire time. Okay. Then down, and then Byakuya comes in, and he's like, Hoo -hoo, and then he... But Byakuya hangs? Yeah, like, yeah, Bi Byakuya, yeah, remember? Bra Byakuya said I was the one who uh, made the body look like it was Genocide Jack. What? Did I miss that? I Yeah, maybe you weren't paying attention. What? Why did he do that? <laughs> I don't remember. That's stupid. Okay, well then that, obviously. I'm sure he had his reasons. And then, um... And then Mondo's, what, disposing of the... Handbook? Maybe? Whose handbook is that? What, what else is left? Uh... Holding up a card, putting the poster up... Dumbbell on the ground... A handbook falling on the ground... That would be the last one. The dumbbell's already there, the poster's already up. I guess it's that one. And then what's the final one? The handbook hitting the ground, I would guess. Oh, but it already did. It says it shows it right there, right? Well, I don't know. Or maybe that's... That might just be it falling and the other one's it landing. Okay. Well, Let, guess... Let's go over this one more time. Yeah. Man, this one's really... This was Convoluted. Confusing, yeah. Alright, so... <laughs> Jeez, Jeez that's really a long easy. murder. Alright, so Chihiro, uh, duffel bag, Celeste sees, Chihiro's like, ah, and then sees the blue, and then Chihiro's mm -hmm. like, oh shit. Alright, see ya. Okay, so then the locker rooms, Chihiro goes into boys' locker room, goes into the thing, with the card. Hey! It was going, oh man, it's a big workout. Oh, d just hang it. And then, oh, I've got my thing. And then I'm gonna come up behind you and just, what? And then, pfft, and the blood on the poster, blood on mm -hmm. the ground. Drop the dumbbell. He blood on the dance floor. Uh, Chihiro dead. Chihiro dead once again. Okay, that all makes sense. Roll up the carpet, take down the poster, pick up Chihiro. Go to the girls' Go into the room. girls' room. Yep. Use the ID on and open the door to the Open the door. Room. Bring Put the body here. down. Okay, so... Okay, that all looks good. But this is like already swapped. We're missing the, the actual swapping. So... 
You're not gonna use all the things. I know, but... The swapping was part of it, and it doesn't show any of that in here. That's the only thing that feels weird to me. Where would it be, though? Right here. You know? Alright, if you want to put that in instead. Yeah, because then Shihiro gets put down. Okay. And then that's where it all is. Um, and then Act 4 is him coming in and being a creepzoid. And then this one's a little confusing. Yeah, I don't understand. Hold up the thing, throw on the ground. Ugh. <laughs> Whose is that? Doesn't matter. I think we got it right. Alright. Here's exactly what happened. <laughs> okay. Here's exactly what happened. Brought to you guys the <laughs> brought to you by the guys that don't know exactly what happened. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Seems like we got it right Last though. Night, Celeste saw Chihiro in the warehouse, correct? Yeah. At the time, she was apparently stuffing something into a duffel bag. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> that oh. something was a blue tracksuit. Oh my god, did they right really Celeste? do the amateur thing? Holy shit. What? Okay, this is like a really... This is like an amateur artist thing to do in like Photoshop. You, uh -huh. You'll like... You'll scan inked art from paper, and okay. then you'll just like flood fill the the inked art. But like because you haven't done any like work on turning the lines into like usable work, there ends mm -hmm. up being like this sort of gray glow around the lines. Um, it, so it's just like it's just sort of this lazy like oh I guess I'll just scan it in and then like flood fill the the lines. But then it creates that weird halo effect around the lines. You see that? I don't. I don't have a trained enough eye, I guess. Well, it's especially on Chihiro's green outfit in the top left. Oh, yeah, there's that like, I see. There's like this gray artifacting around the... That's because they didn't like treat the lines and they just sort of like flood filled it in on top of the lines. Cool. Yeah. I would have never known. That's okay. It's just some <laughs> fucking nerdy art shit. Uh, <laughs> it's cool. Okay. With bag in hand, Chihiro headed out, even though it was officially nighttime. Right. Mm hmm. She made her way to the locker room, specifically the boys' locker room. Right. But how could the victim, who was apparently a girl, access the boys' locker room? What? Ah, shit. Okay. Well, okay, so I have to explain everything in the- alright, fine. So, it's... Uh... I guess it's this one. Oh! No, they told you where you got it wrong. I know, I know, I know, but... I, I have to, like, take this part back. I- apparently girls and boys have different looking handbooks handbooks yeah because i think this this okay. black with the blue emblem is is a boy's oh uh, okay so it was right here okay so that's gotta be it right and then oh i gotta well we have to replace the other one okay. wherever you just took that from it's all the way over here and there's no way to speed it up <laughs> it's okay. All right, cool. There we go. I don't understand. So what's this? Oh, this is the sauna part. Oh, okay. He's throwing it into the sauna because he wants to destroy it. Right? Because Chihiro's was broken? Oh, boy. I do not know. Yeah. But then... Give it a shot. Yeah, but this last one doesn't make any sense. I don't know. Fuck it. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, it'll it'll exactly it'll say you got it wrong, but we'll get farther in the process. Okay. With bag in hand, Chihiro headed out, even though it was officially nighttime. Right. She made her way to the locker room, but how right. could the victim, who was apparently a girl, access the boys' locker room? Mm-hmm. What? Damn it. What do you mean? Uh-oh, we're in trouble. 
Okay, 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 okay. I think I might have... I think this is supposed to go there. Yeah. And then... And then... That. Yeah. Okay. And then... Dumbbell. And then poster. Um... Yep, and then taking it down. And da -da 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 -da. Um, okay, yep, and then the, the door. <sighs> and then a po uh, putting a poster. Yep. Let's just make sure this is okay, yep, with the extension core. Writing bloodlust. And then, yep, and then... Okay, cool, alright, great. I think this is it. I think we're good. Exactly what okay. I think we got it. Oh boy. With bag in hand, Chihiro headed out. Even right. She mm -hmm. made her way to the locker room. But yep. how could the victim, who was a pet? Hey. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Simple. Because she was really a key. Okay, no, that's he okay, but fine, whatever. Handbook to gain entrance to the boys' locker room. Once inside, he met with someone there. And the person he met was the one who killed him. Ma he was a Mondo jerk. <laughs> it seems likely that the killer grabbed the nearby dumbbell, approached the unsuspecting Chihiro, right. ah. and attacked him. And Plip! Then, <laughs> the on the poster and carpeting in the boys' locker room came from. Yes. All right, good. Dead. It was likely in the heat of the moment. The body was arranged, but the murder itself felt unclean. Okay. Trick. Which is why the killer hurried to try and hide the act. First, pulling up the bloodstained carpet. Then, cool. removing the bloody poster. Right. And then go into the girls' room, you bad boy. The but how'd they get into the girls' locker room? The yeah. The handbook was necessary to get into the locker room, of course. Right. This alone doesn't prove that the killer was necessarily a girl. After all, Sayaka and Juno. Oh, of course, they just grabbed all the handbooks. Okay. Yeah. Using one of those, a Durr. boy get into the girls' locker room without much problem. And dun, that's dun, exactly dun, dun. how the killer did it. With okay. The carpet and the poster they brought yeah, that, that checks out. <sighs> they changed the layout of the boys and girls locker room in what you might call a crime scene switch. Wow. That's not a term. <laughs> the old schlibbity do. <laughs> but no, Yakuya discovered the body and decided to intervene in the situation. What a Maybe dumbass. Even more yeah, I know. Like, why would he do that? There's no reason for him to do that. Unless he wanted to frame so, Toko. Yeah, but if they get it wrong, then we all die. Oh, right. He went and grabbed the extension cord from the library. And then he got to work. That's stupid. <laughs> he used the cord to string up Chihiro's lifeless body. Yeah. Wipe! I like writing blood dust. Then, using the victim's own blood, he left a grisly message there at the a scene. A grisly of the massage. <laughs> he wanted to create oh, the I could go for those right now. Jack Me too. The fucking bear on it. <laughs> like, oh god, it's so grisly. <laughs> but why did he want to create and that impression? I don't know. Yakuya was putting together this facade. The killer, having already disposed of Chihiro's bag and other How? Bodies, Arrived at the sun. How did he dispose of Chihiro's bag and other belongings? That's an important. To destroy the last piece of evidence. Mm -hmm. Nice. And just as the killer expected, the steamy sauna was enough to ruin the electronic gadget. Somehow, the killer knew that the handbook couldn't stand up to the heat of the sauna. And the we did it, Aaron. The, the sauna. Because the sauna had you did it, Aaron. <laughs> you did it. And that's how it all played out. It's Mondo. Oh, I was Boom, guy, baby. Bummer. I like the. I'm like. Mondo. Excellent. Yeah. I like them all. Yeah. No. This can't be right. 
Like, I'm gonna be even more surprised when Taka becomes a murderer. <laughs> yeah. Where's your evidence? Evidence. You just you said proof. it all, though. Without any proof, you can't pin any of this on him! I mean, he's still right. Like, none of this is really evidence. Yeah, but... I don't know, man. We're on a time limit here. <laughs> Someone's gotta die. Once I do that, everything will become clear. A new element is added to the you wanna hear it? Okay, sure, Okay. Yeah. yeah, love to. Talk a little bit about fever time and- FEVER NIGHT. TIME! During a bullet time battle, if you press the RB button, fever time will activate, the temple will be forced to its max. Whoa. Mm. At this point, even if you push the buttons at random, you won't miss. So you can push however you want to destroy the opponent's verbal assault. But this only lasts until your focus gauge runs out, so make the best possible use of your time. Okay. We've also prepared something nega time that your opponent can use. Yep. Uh, nega time during the bullet time battle, your your temple marker will disappear, making it quite a bit tougher to hit the buttons of the road. Did you activate fever time? No, never mind. I'm sure nothing would happen. <laughs> oh my okay. god. Great. Yep. Good luck. Okay, this Have is fun. the rhythm game one. The moment of truth. Fever time. Show me some evidence. You're wrong. What? I won't listen. <laughs> it's such an interesting part of the game. Show me oh boy. Okay. Uh huh. Why are you killing it? Show me some evidence. You're wrong. I won't listen. Okay, so I it goes slower you. for me now. Hmm. Show me some evidence. Fuck. I won't listen. Fuck. What? What the hell's going on over there, Aaron? <laughs> I'm. I'm. I don't. I refuse to fall. I refuse you. Okay. Final go. strike! God, I got dance, it. dance, revolution him into murder! <laughs> Wait, so I had to convince somebody else. It didn't have anything to do with Mondo. So I had to convince his bro. Right. Mondo must have replaced his broken handbook with Leon's. Right. Case, we already we established this. Right yep. Yeah. Yeah. We'll... Mm-hmm. I lost Aaron. Do that. Aaron? <laughs> We don't Honey? gotta do that. I'm back. Okay. <laughs> cool. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. I did it. I killed him. Damn, Mondo. Damn, son. Well, that's the end you, of it, huh? Yeah, jeez. Wow. Just fucking goes out Good like Good job, that. man. You did very well. Oh. Hey! Hell yeah, Great dude. job. Yeah, I got nice. lots of noises. 81 medals, dude. You're gonna get so many presents. Yeah, dude. What are you saying? <laughs> I got no choice, man. After hearing all that, I gotta just give up. Go ahead, Monokuma. Get it over with. Ask damn, we're badass. The goddamn verdict. <laughs> the goddamn verdict. Son of a bitch. Wait, hold on. No waiting. No holding on. Time for the moment we've all been waiting for. You just said no waiting. <laughs> Give it a yank! Oh, jeez. Who will you elect as the blackened this time around? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong I don't know, it seems one? pretty obvious. Just admit yeah. it, you did it. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? <laughs> who could it have been? One of the six innocent people or the guy who said I killed him? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Hifumi. Yay! Oh, that's ridiculous. <laughs> He's guilty! Ah, oh, what will become of that eclair on his head? <laughs> time it look- This- uh, oh, this time it looks like you got it right again. Yes, it is so. The black and the killed your hero Fuji saw you was Mando Abada! Yay! Yeah, shit, dude. In case you're wondering, the vote was not unanimous. Kyo Taka oh. chose the wrong answer. You're treading very close to the danger zone, Mr. Ishimaru. You need to be more careful. I refuse to believe it! Yeah, it's been so long. There's no way! Voice the characters. Yeah, no way he would kill someone! Sorry. Uh, well, he did. Yeah, he, he, he just said he did. What, what is this? 
Why are you apologizing? You can't have killed someone. I've known you for three days and we sat next to each other in a sauna. <laughs> why? Why, 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 why? And sometimes why? Why did you do it? Oh, he's le he's sprung a leak. <laughs> yeah. Now <sighs> then. Well, what do you mean, why like... did he do it? Because he wanted to leave. Yeah. Well, it looks like Mondo's taking a vow of silence, so allow me to explain on his behalf. Actually, the story of the murder this time is the sad story of two. Uh, but for anyone who doesn't really want to hear it, you can hit the B button to fast forward the text. I mean, yes, we've already seen it. <sighs> Extreme inferiority complex, uh, regard. Uh, uh, you're so weak even though you're boys, as long as you remember you couldn't overcome a weakness. On the contrary, they tried to hide and bury themselves further and further into that weakness to take on the fragile form of a petite young girl. They had chosen this as their way out. Um... Then nobody will be able to say anything about it, even though you're a boy. But no matter how tightly... They, oh, but no it's matter how community. tightly they wrapped themselves, themselves in that shell, the inferiority complex had already taken root deep inside of them and was not so easily weeded out. As it turned out, the shell was completely empty. The complex didn't appear. Instead, it only grew stronger and stronger. I'm weak. Weak, 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 Month year! Once the killing game had begun here at the school, well, everyone's drawn really well, huh? He had, they had no choice but to accept this fact. After all, the world is survival of the fittest. If you're not strong, you don't survive. And then the lovely and hateful Monokuma announced the revealing of the embarrassing secrets, which of course includes your hero's embarrassing secret, which I was more than willing to divulge. Even though they dress like a girl, Chihiro, uh, whatever. Okay, um... And that was something Chihiro couldn't let anyone find out, no matter the cost. If that was revealed, it would be the end. The hardened shell would crack, the armor would fall away. Without a doubt, those around them would torture them more than ever before. Everyone figured being thrust into such a dilemma must have sent them spiraling into despair. And yet... Uh, I'm sorry. Um, so sorry, I don't really want to talk about it right now. But... But I also don't want to leave things the way they are, so maybe I can talk about it later. After I try my best to become strong, then I can tell everyone. Annoyingly, they use the threat of discovery to motivate themselves to become stronger. That's right. Now's my chance. To I'm gonna get stronger and accept who I am. Strong enough so that when someone says even though you're a boy, it'll be okay, I'll get better. With that thought in front of, his, of their mind, they resolved to take immediate action, and so... That day, they made the commitment to begin exercising and was prepared to restrain their mind and body, but sadly, that would be the first and only chance they would get to uh, get at it. Hey, um... When, he, when they decided to start exercising, they thought it would be good to ask for someone's help. But they wanted to tell that person their secret first and then ask them to help them from there. And the person they went yeah, to... That's right. It was me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we've yeah, already- Sorry, I, just, I wasn't prepared to voice act. <laughs> yeah, uh, we've already established this. Yeah, it sure was! The biker gang fella had been painfully clear about how important his manly promises were. So Tahira probably figured that even the, uh, if they confided in Mondo, their honor would make them keep the secret. Uh -huh. Plus, Mr. Macho Mondo was the very symbol of a strong man that Tahira had always aspired to. Maybe talking to Mondo about it will help me give me some courage! So, is that wait? Is that Monokuma? I think this is supposed to be Monokuma. Yeah, so they went and asked Mondo to help them become strong. <sighs> that was their aspiration, and they thought that only with Mondo's support would they ever be able to come close to that. So then, that must be why Mondo did what he did to keep the promise he'd made to Chihiro. What did did, did what they did? You mean, that's why Mondo carried Chihiro from the boys' locker room into the girls' locker room? Yes, that's exactly what I mean. Um, was it that to cover up what he'd done? Certainly. That could have been part of it, but I don't think it was the main reason. The real purpose was to keep the promise between men he'd made to Chihiro. But... But how does, this, but how does moving the party keep his secret? Because... Because if everyone knew he'd been killed in the boys' locker room, wait, I'm confused, then everyone would have been arguing about how she got into the boys' locker room, right? Wait, who are they talking about? But but Mondo or? They're switching between Mondo and Chihiro. Oh, man. I'm, I'm all. Because they're, 
Because they're misgendering Chihiro as as he. No, now. no, no. I'm talking about Mondo and Byak Oh, they're only talking <laughs> about Mondo right now. Okay. Once that's once that started up, at least a few of us would have immediately begun to suspect his identity. So, he tried to protect Chihiro's secret by putting him in the girls' locker room and stealing his handbook. See? Then Mondo did all that to keep the promise he'd made to Chihiro, who he'd also killed. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. Why would the, he do that? Apparently, the promise of a man is is more important than than not murdering. <laughs> the more I hear you talk, the more I don't understand. I mean, you guys trusted each other, right? God, I'm snotting everywhere. <laughs> so why? Why did you? Because no matter what, I didn't want anyone to know. I knew it. So that's what triggered it, after all. Uh, oh, that's still Kyoko. Oh shit. The possibility of having your embarrassing memories and secrets exposed. What, what is this? That's impossible. Nothing could have been that bad. Something he didn't want anyone to know, even if it meant killing someone? It's impossible! Don't make me but not myself. impossible. <laughs> Delicious. Now available at Olive Garden. How many times must I repeat myself? To judge others by your own standard is the height of folly. Even if you can't comprehend it, he obviously can. There, that's all there is to it. Let's everyone forget about how I desecrated a body. <laughs> well, while we're on the subject, why don't I tell you? That embarrassing memory, that secret, they didn't want anyone to know. You know what Mondo did? He killed his own brother! What an asshole. Oh my god, one time! <laughs> Mondo, the ultimate biker gang leader, makes all the hoodlums on the riffraff across the country tremble. But the only reason he had the chance to join a gang in the first place was because of a certain someone. Va! <laughs> His brother, Va! Mondo's older brother's name was Daya Awada. Uh, Mondo had nothing but respect for him. It was because of Daya that Mondo ever got on a motorcycle. Vroom, vroom, vroom. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like so puppet cute in his theater. <laughs> Mondo's brother was his only family growing up. He was the only one Mondo could trust or respect. For some reason, the way that Mondo's moving and looks on the screen right now reminds me of Ninja Gaiden. You know, when he's like running. It's like, oh yeah, for sure, for sure. He wanted to measure up to his big brother, so he imitated him in everything he did. Mondo was the epitome of the starry-eyed kid brother. Meanwhile, the charismatic older brother had put together a local motorcycle gang, and before anyone knew it, it had grown into the biggest biker gang in the country. Daya, the elder brother, number one in the gang, and his number two is younger brother Mondo. In the beginning, everything was peaches and gravy. <laughs> it's disgusting. <laughs> when Mondo started to think about how he would have to take over the gang from his brother someday, his brother's greatness, his reputation began to gnaw on Mondo's very soul. The kid's gonna take over for Daya, Daya, huh? Daya created this gang with his bare hands. Mondo's just along for the ride. Could someone like that really be our leader? All, all that'll do is make the gang look bad. Almost every day, Mondo heard the gossip and whispers of the other members of the gang. I heard Mondo's wee wee is real small. Oh! I've gotta <laughs> murder my brother! <laughs> <laughs> Which is why. I. I just. Oh, oh I, sorry. Yeah. I gotta get stronger. Stronger than Daya. Once. Just one time. <laughs> one time! <laughs> yeah, one time I gotta kill him. No matter what, I gotta win. Don't fuck with me. I don't care what it takes. I gotta come out on top. And on the night of his amazing brother's retirement ceremony, Mondo challenged him to a street race. But during the race, tragedy struck. <laughs> Uzuzu! For my amuse <laughs> <laughs> The kid brother pushed ahead with reckless abandon and eager for victory and dashed into oncoming traffic. But suddenly! We didn't really murder him. It seems like it was more of an accident than anything. Ah! Lying in his kid brother's arms, the older brother delivered his final words. <laughs> you wanna be dead? My bad. I fucked up. <laughs> Sorry. He looks pretty chill about the whole thing, honestly. Yeah, like, alright, whatever. 
Of course, he knew it was his brother's fault, but Daya never blamed him for what happened. I mean, he only had 30 seconds to live. Hey, kid, the rest is up to you. No matter what, you gotta keep the gang together. It seems like it was an accident. It really wasn't his fault. Yeah, cause it's the team you and me put together. Fat Albert and the Cosby Kids. <laughs> it's a pr promise between men. <laughs> that was a death rattle. That wasn't a burp. Yeah. He decided to hide the truth of what happened from everyone else in the gang in order to keep the gang together and keep the promise to his brother. He could never admit to anyone that it was his own weakness that had caused the accident. I mean, not really. <laughs> the, the, the motivations for a lot of these characters are kind of weird. Yeah. And as a result... The team was made even stronger under the banner of the kid who'd bested his big brother. Daya was gonna lose to his kid brother, so he got stupid and got himself killed. That became the explanation for what happened. Mondo's lie became the truth! And then Pyakya was like, I'll make this look like some other murderer did it. <laughs> yeah. Why? I don't really know. It doesn't matter. <laughs> to make things more complicated. <laughs> he wanted to lead the team so bad he was willing to tell all kinds of lies about his brother. I... I just... I'm strong. Strong, 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 strong. <laughs> oh, I see. And yet... As soon as our killing game began, he realized no matter how tough he pretended to be, he was just another weakling that could die in an instant. Cards! <laughs> and then the lovely, the hateful Monokuma announced and reve the revealing of the embarrassing sequence. At that point, it was clear I would have no problem shedding light on his secret. Mondo killed his own brother. <laughs> No matter what, I couldn't let the other gang members find out. If that happened, everything would have been ruined. I guess, whatever. Everything me and my brother had worked to create would have been destroyed. His death, all the guilt I'd been carrying around, it would have all been for nothing. So that's why... I... I've I, got to dance! <laughs> Sorry. Mondo! After I saw what Monokuma had on me, my head filled up with a kind of fuzzy un uneasiness and just started swirling around. And I was like, who can I kill? <laughs> I'd never felt anything like it before. I, I, I didn't know what to do about it. I wasn't sure what to think or say, but after a while that fuzzy uneasiness and that uneasy fuzziness <laughs> turned itself into a rock hard lump of anxiety way down in my stomach. It must and it right It's too much. And it was right around then that Chihiro asked me to start working out with him. And right there, I... he told me a secret. Seriously? Jesus! Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry I lied to you. But why? Why now? Why are you telling me this all of a sudden? Huh? Wait, is this like a... Oh, it's the inside of the of the, the men's locker room. Got it. Uh, yes. Because, I mean, you've kept that secret all this time, right? If anyone fi found out, you would... But... You're right, but... I want to change. I want to change. I wrapped myself in lies. I'm weak. I want to destroy that version of me forever. His words were like a knife in my gut. I felt like he was exposing the lie I'd been living myself. I have to change. I don't want to be weak anymore. You're so strong. I can't, it can't hurt you, right? Whatever secret Monokuma might tell us. You piece of... So what? You're saying I should just say it? What? You're saying if what? I really am, I should just be able to tell everyone my secret? Huh? Huh? I was jealous. <laughs> I was jealous of Chihiro's strength. Wow, in the end, Chihiro was the strong one. Yeah. But I am the one who is strong, 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 strong. <laughs> he had the strength to face his own weakness, to try to overcome it. It was the kind of strength I've never had. So I was jealous of him. And that jealousy broke me. What? Are what? you making fun of me? I'm strong. Are you fucking with me right now? No. I'm not making fun of you. You really are strong, Mondo. Are we here to, like, work out? <laughs> if I felt like I could hear something starting to creak. Something inside my head. What did he want me to do? 
What was I supposed to do? Was I supposed to just sit back, let my secret get revealed, and ruin everything? Yes! What's wrong? <laughs> Damn you! Why did you have to tell me all that? Are you trying to rub my failure in my face? I, yes, no. obviously! <laughs> no, I just really admire you. I admire your strength. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I am strong. Strong enough to lift this dumbbell and cave in your head. <laughs> strong! I'm strong! Strong, 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 strong. <laughs> Stronger than you! you! Son of a bitch! And stronger than Daya! Right, right about now, Chihiro is probably like, this is not, this yeah. is not going well. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, uh, I don't remember anything after that. Very convenient. When I woke up again, he was laying at my feet, covered in blood. Who could have done this, I thought. <laughs> I had the dumbbell in my hand. And I was just staring at him, down on the ground. Hey, hey! I... Anyone got a tissue? <laughs> I killed him. I killed Chihiro. I killed Chihiro. Even after all this time, Even after all this time I'm still, I'm still just, just as weak as I've always been. been. Thanks to that, oh, sorry, he's talking. I can never take back. Uh, Mondo! He was normally so aggressive, so angry. He hid that weak side away from everyone. That was his secret. He's always weak. A weakness like that lived in the heart like his, and it turned him cold-blooded. God damn it. <laughs> Look at him, you see? You're all just like him. For a secret from the past, for a memory. For that, he killed another living being and called it. He couldn't cut free of his regrets from the outside world. He doesn't know what true strength is. Do you see hope anywhere in there? Cause I sure don't. You bastard! Just shut up, you son of a bitch! Go ahead, say that again. I dare you! Thing that has total control over our lives and we can't destroy? Yeah. Okay, I'll say it as many times as I want, is what I want to say, but unfortunately I can't do that right now because it's time for the punishing! Punishing? Yay. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> you mean execution? Dude. How long have you been here? Yeah. That's what I promised you, right? The black and the disturbs the peace will be punished. Ridiculous. Hold on! Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment! Fermando Iwata, the ultimate biker gang leader. <laughs> no, wait! Wait! Let's get I love him! <laughs> I mean, he clearly loves him, right? I said wait. I what? said wait. Taka. Yeah. Oh yeah, Taka loves him. Sorry, yeah. man. Surrogate brother. I yeah. Couldn't keep the promise we made from one man to another. So gruff. All right, here we go. Oh damn! Look at this. Mondo to die. Mondo has been found guilty. Hammer the punishment. Man, we're starting to run low on characters. Yeah. Maybe he'll survive this. I don't know. <laughs> it was said with such conviction, I didn't even clock it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got the Mondo hair. Oh my god. Wow. Oh, it's one of those, like, uh, circus cages. Yeah, the cage of death. So what's gonna... Kill him. Mm. He's going really fast. Ah, yeah, shit, dude. Is why is Monokuma in there with him? Oh, there we go. Whoa, whoa! It's kooky! Oh, Monokuma, I can't stay mad at you. Oh, it's electric. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, jeez. Chill out, man. Yeah. Where do you keep all this shit? Oh god, Mon Monokuma was killed in the process. Yeah. Oh, we all gotta get out now! <laughs> it's oh, dope! He's just, he's just gone? He's just vaporized? Oh my god. Oh, it's Mondo Butter! That <laughs> is ridiculous. What the fuck? I love well, pancakes. okay then. A oh, laugh of death and your soul will forever be at peace. Wow. Well, alright. Oh boy. We saw Mondo die. 
<laughs> we did it. Here, should we just really go to the end of the act? It's probably like three more lines. Oh, okay. Yeah. It can't be! My brother! Another murder and another execution. I want to feel again. Everyone's lives are taken so lightly here. I feel like I might be going mad. Or glad. Or sad. <laughs> Maybe I'll just let it happen. Alright. Alright, I think he covered that scream. <laughs> Same Thank recording. you for handling that. As Taka's sad screams invaded our skulls, we were each forced to realize once again, but he... Of course he had to. What a disappointment. This is the end of the game. B B yeah, yeah. What is this? You're completely insane, you know that again? One of our friends is dead, do you realize yeah, that? A dear, dear friend. We've known him a whole weekend. Mm-hmm. But of course I do, because this game is life or death. Hey. Oh, I don't have anything to say to you. I don't have a response, except that However, you're a big old meanie. I just don't understand why. Why do you go out of your way to disguise Mondo's crime? Yes, please, what? explain that. <laughs> why? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? No! Because it made things more interesting. Oh, you're just a dick. <laughs> yeah. Ugh, we live in a society. His voice was calm, emotionless. <laughs> <laughs> like the voice of death. It chilled me to the bone. Last night, when the murder took place, I was in the library as usual. Honestly. And then I was like, hmm, whose life can I fuck up today? Hmm. So you ignored That's the you? nighttime rule too? Hmm. That rule never mattered to me. I don't recall agreeing to it. There is nothing to be done. Well, okay, well, none of us agreed to having to murder each other either, but here we are. Yeah, yeah, seriously. <laughs> well, I don't particularly care. Please continue. The night grew late, and I decided to return to my room, which is when I stumbled upon him. I spotted Mondo coming out of the girls' locker room. After he'd gone, I looked inside and saw the corpse. What you mean you actually is the murderer? <laughs> what do you mean you witnessed it? He was such a fool, he didn't have the slightest idea that I'd seen him. It was hilarious. So you're <laughs> saying you knew who the culprit was from the very beginning? That's right. Indeed. But if that had been the end of it, how boring would that have been? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> like a normal murder? Yeah. I mean, what a waste of time to have the answer revealed right at the beginning. <laughs> Which is why I decided to lend a little helping hand. By almost getting yourself killed? Like, what was gonna yeah, happen I, if everyone just thought it was Toko? I don't get it. I thought it would liven things up. You did all that to liven things up? And guess who's gonna die next? <laughs> yeah. So after hearing about Genocide Jack from Toko, you decided to use that... ...to create the fake murder scene. What? But damn, man, if we hadn't figured out who'd really done it, you'd have been, like, dead too, right? <laughs> well, obviously I would have revealed the truth before it reached that point. <laughs> okay, dude. Man, this guy sucks. Of course. <laughs> I'm Byakya! <laughs> Byakia turned and looked me in the eye. I could feel his sharp eyes piercing into me. Thanks to a certain remarkable someone, it never did, and I was able to perform an interesting experiment. Mm -hmm. interesting. Once I do decide to become blackened, I now know who I'll have to watch out for. Correct. <laughs> so that was your reason. Are you satisfied? Indeed. Yes, of course, because I just had a Snickers. <laughs> They're packed with peanuts. <laughs> We're done listening to you. Moving on. Oh my hey. god, how much longer is this? Th there's something I'd like to ask Monokuma. What's this? Oh, I'm up next. You. you like to perform these elaborate executions each time, correct? My question is why? Do we really... Do we, do we really need to know? <laughs> Ooh, do you like them? But you know, this punishment, this despair, it's not just for you. <laughs> oh, this punishment, all this despair is my gift to mankind itself! You're over-exaggerating. Yeah, Boy, that did, word looks weird in text. Yeah. Did you really expect, like, a straight answer? I'm not over-exaggerating. These punishments are meant to transform all hope to despair. What do you mean? 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 You think I'm being mean? <laughs> mean, 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 mean. Good stop, 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 stop. <laughs> I don't understand why you have to pick apart every stupid little thing. <laughs> Whatever. It doesn't matter. In the end, I'm going to stand alone as the victor. 
and then every, everything will be revealed to me. It doesn't make a bit of difference, guys. Ah, oh, the noble son of a noble family. Truly, you understand me. <laughs> I think this is the start of a terrifying friendship. Shut up. I would never stoop to a level of childish criminal like you. Oh, but you would desecrate a dead body in order to have a little fun. Yeah, he's got problems. Let me just say this. After I've achieved complete victory, you're up next. Well, you haven't really murdered anyone, have you? Yeah, I'm going to find you and kill you, understand? I don't know if I would antagonize- Alright. In the name of the Tagami family, for which victory is a foregone conclusion. Ooh, so cool. It's like you're the main character of a video game or something. No trash mob for you. I swear, whatever it takes, I will kill you. Woohoo, <laughs> temper temper, sounds like someone needs a nap. Woohoo. <laughs> I'll be great if he just like stabbed him right now. You're right? You're cool with me. Like, oh, probably shouldn't have done that. Damn. Monokuma's laughter peeled across the courtroom and the curtain closed in the case of Chihiro and Mondo. But I knew that wasn't the end. The killing game would still continue because the mastermind wouldn't let it end. For those of us who were still alive, our worst fear and despair kept on multiplying. It was the kind of despair that felt like a blind puppy in hell had more of a future than us. All of our courage. <laughs> what? That's not a saying. Yeah. Our effort, our friendship. It felt like it amounted to nothing at all. It was the worst kind of despair. Like a blind dog in hell. <laughs> what the fuck well, is this? Anyway, like hmm. saying, Should we find out what this is next time on Game Grumps? Yeah, I don't know. I don't yeah. know. I'm, I'm kind of. I'm actually kind of curious. Oh man! All right. This is probably like the mastermind or whatever, like the actual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, gotta be right. Anyway, like I was saying, this is a pretty good spot. Oh, yeah, a really good they're, spot. They're, they're doing the vocal. Oh, sorry. No problem. Isn't it amazing how that girl went and killed someone before things even had a chance to get boring? Once things really get moving, it'll be like a roller coaster. There won't be any stopping it. The girl. Uh, Sayaka. Sayaka didn't kill anyone though. Fear and Ooh, good question. Forward at a I guess she tried. I must admit, I'm disappointed. I went to all the pain and effort of making you part of the group, and you couldn't play your part. You do remember you were supposed to make the first move, right? What? Oh, was there a plant? Well, no biggie. Nothing we can do about it now. So just do your best to make things more exciting from now on, okay? After all, that's what everyone wants to see. So it's gotta be Kyoko. You think so? There's one thing I'd like to ask you. As long as you don't want to know my measurements, fire away! Who is it? The 16th high school student, I mean. What? My, my. You really took me by surprise there. I know I said you could ask anything, but... Super denied, ultra denied, demonic denied! Because you see, that's my ace in the hole. Okay. And nobody be dumb enough to reveal that, right? No matter how close they were to their friends. <laughs> oh man. Oh, what a cliffhanger. There's sh shit's happening behind the scenes. No, oh, man, we did it. Chapter 2. Wow. Done. Done oh, rings. That's great. Oh my goodness. Okay, all right. Yep. Some more some more dead people. Yeah, just some more deads. No big deal. Ah, oh, to be continued. Yes, indeed. Oh. All right, we will see you all soon. You got yeah. a crazy diamond present. Yeah, man. Congratulations. Well, before we go, listen, this is a strange situation to navigate on account of uh, Chihiro's uh, identity situation. Um, typically, saying he for somebody who is officially transgender is uh, disrespectful. So... I just want to acknowledge that and and why I was saying they instead of he whenever it came up. Um, but the weird thing about the the character in this in this game was that they were not like fully transgender or anything like that. So I just I just wanted I just want to say that and just say if you are transgender, you deserve respect and shouldn't be misgendered. And that's all there's to it. Yeah, we love you no matter what. Um, dope. All right. Well, anyway. Next episode, chapter three, we're getting on. It's going to be great.
All right. Rock and roll, everyone. We'll see you then. Hell yeah. Godspeed. Goodbye. Whew.